squad is uh, quietly confident, uh, um, especially after the last two matches, although we never got the result we wanted. Uh, but definitely performances, uh, especially in the second half, uh, to bowl from. Uh, we know our problem is executing the final uh, pass, the final shot, scoring the chances we create. So we have to continue creating chances and uh, the goals will come. We have a uh, good spirit in the team. Yes, we uh, lose in the last games, in the last two games, points maybe. First, uh, Soundhounds was possible you can win the game, uh, which I think was okay to draw. But now it's time uh, we, we catch the three points for us. Yeah, the spirit is good, feeling is good, and now it's important we, we get it on the field and then we, we fight for the three points. in a stadium more familiarly known as Ellis Park Stadium as Johannesburg sees Orlando Pirates host Barocca FC. It's an opportunity though for both these sides to inspire and impress as neither have been quite as quick off the mark following the resumption of uh, domestic football as they would have liked. Moment of silence that is being observed and then the moment of applause for uh, the frontline workers, the essential workers, but moment of silence not only for victims of COVID-19 who now sadly include one of the legends of journalism, Susum Sileko, who tragically passed away just uh, yesterday, but indeed to all who've lost their lives and been affected by COVID-19. There's Mango, far side, charging forward. Desperately seeking to get beyond uh, Masia. In the end, though, it's an opportunity that is buried. It was a pass that only just got snuck away and then tucked away brilliantly by Mawasa. What a sensational strike. And that has got all the quality of a mature finisher's classy strike. Sensational strike indeed from uh, Mabasa. They called him on to score the goals. A barren run for Orlando Pirates, uh, but a uh, credit must go to Mahango here. Immediately outnumbered by a number of Barocca defense defenders, rather. Quality here from Barocca in attack. Who go good and go through Mahopa into the back of the Pirates net. And remarkably, remarkably, these two sides maintain their tradition. Chip in here. And nodded away with that the end of this APSA Premiership tie. Orlando Pirates now stretch their winless run to five, but they have at least broken their goal-scoring drought in the face of Ben Mutsuari. Even if you can see the amount of work that I put in tonight, um, I think it helped the team somehow. But honestly, we need to do better to get better results, you know. I mean, we need to utilize the chances that we create and score more goals, definitely. Recently, during the lockdown, it's my uncle and my cousin, and they passed on, you know, and, and they're people that have always supported me, and I know they're watching down, and they're proud of what I've been doing, and I'll continue to make them proud, you know.
experience has been a great experience. Uh, it's not something usual. It was an abnormal uh, space. Now we're on a normal space. It's something that uh, us as players, it kind of, you know, a uh, little bit affected us. But now we're back. Uh, we 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 on point. We are fit. Uh, it doesn't really really affect us physically because we have been doing the Zoom sessions. We've been training. Um, playing the Sundowns game after uh, a, a while, not uh, not us been playing for for a long time. It's been a while, so obviously uh, we're gonna be a little bit rusty as players. But the team is not doing bad. We are doing well, it's just that we have to convert our chances going forward. It's not easy, uh, I could say. The team is, uh, has a, hence I said, the team is playing very well. It's just that as going forward, we just have to convert our chances. And we've improved a lot uh, on us uh, conceding goals. There's less goals conceding. Our defense is great. It's just that going forward, we just have to convert our chances. And the team um, is playing, it's just playing good football. It's just that we're waiting for that game where we will get a win, then the, the, we will get a flow of getting more wins if we get one win. Today's training, uh, we are emphasizing on the finishing a lot because that's where we are a little bit lacking. We are not, um, I could say, we, we still lack a little bit of finishing. So we are training on that at every training session, you know, like today we emphasize on finishing a lot. So. We, we install on the offensive players' minds that when they get to the final third, they have to convert their chances. It's very important for senior players to motivate the, 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 young, the young ones, the young players that are upcoming, you know, guide them, mentor them. When we play matches, you know, uh, at half times, uh, we'll keep the guys focused, or we'll keep the guys to believe in themselves. So, you know, keep the team together as a senior player because, you know, uh, play, uh, players, especially young players, they get frustrated if they don't get a result, if they don't uh, uh, score uh, score their chances when they get the, the opportunity. You know, they you, ha you have to uplift them as a senior player at half time. So, it's very important as a senior player to uplift the, the, young, the youngsters and give them confidence that we'll get a result until the end of the game. Cape Town City is a match that always brings goals. Um, and yes, as a match we're going to attack. You know, we we scored one goal, uh, but we, were, we did not have that killer instinct to go for the second and go for the third. So, uh, very much a tack-minded approach, uh, getting back to our style, getting back to the Pirates' way of, of, of playing football and ultimately scoring goals. The lockdown is, is, a, is a challenge on the one hand, but on the other hand, we have the players in terms of nutrition, in terms of rest, in terms of training, how much we can train, who needs recovery, who needs extra training. So, the players are, are highly motivated uh, in this time, although we, we in the hotel all the time we, we're raring to go for the next match. There's always a next match to correct things and, and that's exactly what we're using this match to do, to get back to our way, to get back to winning ways. Yeah, first we get uh, a better structure in the game. The last game was not good for me. Um, yeah, we have not a lot of turnovers and we find better solutions in the final third or we go more in the final third. But I know Cape Town is a, a good game in the moment, one of the best in the, in, after, in the bubble. Um, three, three wins and one, one uh, lost and it's not easy. They have a good structure, but when we, when we get to the normal form, what, uh, can play, what, what, what we can play, then, then, then we have to a chance we, we can win the three points. We need a little more freshness in and uh, we know Lodge is a, a top player for us. Uh, he has the skills what we need in this game and uh, Sungu make a good performance in the last two uh, subsists. And yeah, I hope he brings the, the same performance on the field about 90 minutes. And yeah, Munyani is, is young, it's, it's fresh, I don't think about the long things, uh, short things, he goes, he makes the way and I think he gives us a good performance and a good feeling and a good spirit.
Yeah, it's fast, it's quick, and that's just what we need now. Today they're up against Cape Town City here at Loftus First Welt. A warm welcome to all of you here on Super Sport City hosting today's game as they look to consolidate a place in the top eight. 33 points they have in the bag so far. They sit in eighth place, but they're only ahead of Stellenbosch and Le Montfort Golden Arrows. Datsani takes the free kick. Sandy lands. Chance here for City. Almost in the back of the net. Just one mistake and uh, possession turned over. And now another foul. Again, another City player caught in possession. And Makola. He could be in a bit of trouble here. Yeah? I remember he was booked after just yes. three minutes. And yes. It was uh, another clumsy one from him. Let's see what happened here. He was late. The ball was long gone. Red card after just uh, half an hour for Cape Town City. Now, cross inside. We're looking for Morris and Erasmus sneaks it at the back post. Ten man Cape Town City have the lead just before half time. Top. Another long range effort, and Lumberg makes a good save. Turns that round the corner from Pule. There's possibilities. Those, those are the variations that Pirates have got to do. Yes, they're enjoying the possession, knocking it around. The long range shots would, to an extent, help their cause. Well taken. There was power there on target. Swerving as well, but a good save in the end from leaving back. That's a super save. Curls in here, he charts at the back post, over the top. Leuenberg was a little bit at sea there. Ntombo headed, headed it straight down into the ground and there was a nice big bounce over the top. Goalkeeper a little impeded by his own players. Yeah. Cape Town City so close, they've done it! When, uh, in the first 15-20 first minutes he was good in the, in the game. I think we have the, the, the control of the game. Have uh, the other, uh, another uh, one or two good chances. Um, yeah, we don't score. And um, yeah, then uh, comes... The red card. This was so a little bit the, the break for me in the in the in the game, in the first half. Um, up this time, um, it was not so not so in the game. It was uh, have, have then a, a team. They they play only uh, defense work, but it's, it's, it's normal. Um, yeah, this was not so good. And then we get in the, in the extra time in the first half. We get the, uh, we, we, we consider and this is a, is a, is a problem when you have uh, one, one, one player on the field more and the, the opponent play then very strong defense. Mm -hmm. 